the backpack. Um, even on day hikes, I always bring this with. I can carry all my camera gear. I have this nifty backup solar panel charger. Um, any chargers, extra batteries, you know, mounts and stuff for the GoPro. The GoPro case, extra storage. Um, yeah, you name it. I can carry a whole bunch of extra stuff. Also, the other things I'm able to do with this specific backpack is with the straps that kind of load down the gear where I can snap them and zip tie the gear or strap the gear closer to my body, which helps with the weight distribution on my back. I can also like slide in my wife's tripod for taking still photos and stuff like that, which is really nice that she doesn't have to throw it over her back. She can have our son on her back as far as with the baby carrier and all that and it's not swinging around and in the way it's nice and secure right there. So if we end up pulling it off and using it, it's really easy to take out. Um, don't have to pull anything else out of the backpack and don't have to shuff shuffle stuff around. So this is kind of a heavier material backpack which also makes the backpack kind of heavy. But, you know, I like it. It's rugged, it's tough. It, it seems to work really well for the kind of things that we like to do and uh, yeah I'm, I dig it it was only like 40 or 50 bucks so not too bad it's got multiple pockets um, plenty of storage space and you know I like it because you can really keep things organized shoulders are padded really well and I would highly recommend highly 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 recommend trying to find a backpack that has the chest Clasp. I know there's some backpacks, even smaller day packs, that have the the waist uh, strap too, which also would be nice. Kind of helps it hold it up on your hips and take some of that weight off the top of your shoulders. But um, you end up spending a lot more. For just a day pack, something I can keep in the Jeep that's rugged. It's got a lot of storage space. Um, I would definitely recommend something like this. Uh, Field line tactical. Let's dig into the backpack. I wanted to mention one of the other things I like about this backpack is I can get most of the stuff that we need in the backpack, but I can, if I want to, I can still throw my laptop. Um, that soft pouch I was talking about up here, I usually throw in my external um, storage and yeah, different tripods and such that I bring with, mini tripods and stuff that I bring with for the, the GoPro and for the Sony. Um, but that's what I like about it. It's it's a bigger backpack and yeah, it's probably overkill for like our short little day hikes and stuff like that, just a couple miles, but or I'm not bringing the, the laptop and the power supply and the, all that. But um I like it because I can if I want to. Then I don't have to like swap everything out to a different backpack. It's got like a front pouch which I always confuse for like the main pouch, but um yeah, what do I have? So Garbage bag. Not sure where those came from. I'm guessing my wife brought them from something. Anyways, you never know, especially when you might need a doggy bag. Um, I've got a rain poncho. I got the rain poncho, and then also there's like a zipper pocket, zipper pocket uh, in here that I keep my 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 diamond knife sharpener. I of course have my Swiss Army knife. My bigger camping knife. Um, I haven't used it too much, but it's a uh, Mora knife. It's a called the Companion. You know, just a nice uh, fixed blade, multi-purpose knife. Highly recommend at least having one knife with. Um, the Swiss Army knife is a pretty great multi-purpose tool. There's a lot of things you can do with it. 16,750 mAh solar panel charger that has two USB ports, but also it's got two LED lights on the end, which I really like because it's good to have some type of flashlight. I would recommend it. It's not necessary, but I use it for multiple things. Backing up my cell phone battery if I ever needed to. I can use it to charge some of my gear if I needed to. Um, and it's got some really great lights on it. So moving on down to the other front pocket. So that was like the top front pocket. Now I've got a bottom front pocket, which is kind of a little bit bigger. 
One of the most important things to always have on a day hike, always have on a day hike, is some sort of first aid kit. Lint. Lint and or cotton ball for starting a fire. Super lightweight, easy, cheap way to have a, you know, for a, as far as a fire starter goes. Also a cheap thing that I would highly recommend is one of these. An emergency sleeping bag blanket slash could use it as a shelter so, according to the directions. Anyways, it's one of those, uh, it kind of looks, it's that shiny material. Really, really reasonably priced. I think I paid like $7.50 for this thing. It doesn't take up hardly any room in my backpack. You could, I would highly recommend getting one of these for each of your vehicles, especially here in Minnesota where you know how it can be. Weather can be terrible, vehicles don't want to start, stuff like that. Emergency blanket, right here. Super small, compact, reusable little case. Um, highly recommend it. That's in the backpack as well. Another thing is more of a utility thing, which you can use them for whatever you want. That's why I bring them. I've got a handful of zip ties. If I need to build a shelter, if I need to zip tie something to my bag, if I need to fix something that broke on the Jeep, you never know what you're going to use these things for. Zip ties. Along with the same utility thing, duct tape. You can do anything with duct tape. I mean, there's like a bazillion things you can do with duct tape. You look up online what you can do with duct tape and it's like never ending. So, I keep kind of a smooshed down roll. Yeah, it's a little heavier. Do I need duct tape on a daily hike? Well, of course I do. I mean, it's duct tape. It can do anything. Like I said, same with the zip ties. You can fix something. You can help use it to help make your shelter. Uh, there's there's a bazillion uses for duct tape. So here's one of the most important things. I have my flint and my and my steel, which if you guys don't know what that is, it's for starting fires. That thing throws a, throws a mean spark. So get the spark going onto the lint, cup it blow on it. Kind of like you see on TV, like if you ever watch any of those survival shows, how they use it. I have started fires with these things before. Um, definitely work. Anyways, this edge right here, you probably can't see it, is actually like a saw blade edge, like on like a little knife. So you could use this as a saw, you know, if you had to cut some kindling or whatever, if you had to cut up a bigger piece, definitely could use it. It's not the best saw in the world, but you could use it as a saw. It also has one of the most important things you should be using when you're out backpacking and or on day hikes is it's got a little little mini compass right there. Yeah, and it works, which is pretty sweet. Obviously it should work. But little compass. So I've got the I've got the flint, I've got the steel, or the magnesium I think it is. Anyways, I've got the ability to start a fire ability to cut something I would not just rely on something like this I would also have a backup of some sort also you can see it's notch out there a high-pitched whistle so you know that could really come in handy if you get lost and you need a signal for somebody so yeah for like eight bucks you get all that in here onto the big pouch main pouch, I should say. So, this pouch, pretty big large pouch, this one is where it has the little holder back here for a, I couldn't find my camelback, I wanted to show you guys, if you google camelback, you'll see what I'm talking about, it's like a big plastic Ziploc type thing that holds water and has a hose that kind of comes out up here, comes around so you can be walking and sucking it out of like this big straw. We always, always bring probably more water than we need, um, just in case. I mean, we've got two dogs, got the boy, and then the two of us. When you're doing a lot of physical activity, you would be surprised how, how fast you can suck down water. Um, so we always throw a few extra that I kind of bury down in the bottom of my bag that are extra just in case. 
of emergency, whether that be an emergency for us or an emergency for somebody else that happens to be out there on the trail. So I have all this stuff and I bring all this stuff with me and most of the time I don't have to use any of this stuff. But there has been times where it's been like, I was able to say, hey, you know what? I can help you out. Dig in my bag. Here, let's zip tie that. Or here, yes, you are uh, you are kind of being a little loud, so I'll pull out the duct tape. No, I'm just kidding. You try to think ahead for yourself and what the situations that you could possibly encounter. But I think at the same time, what people don't realize is that you may be able to help somebody else. I mean, it's a, it's a community. We're out there together enjoying the same thing. I've seen people just do absolutely amazing selfless things to help other people. Yeah, anyways, I kind of got off on a tangent there. But water. Always, always, always bring water. I have one of those packable hammocks. So this, is, this, this particular one is by Grand Trunk. Um, I really like it. It's a single. Kind of wish I would have got the double, but this one came with the tree savers. It was a little more expensive, but I know there's other brands out there that have good quality stuff um, that are right around the same price point. And I know I've actually purchased a couple different ones as Christmas gifts. Hopefully the people that got them out there, if you are watching, hopefully you like them. Because I love this thing. Do I necessarily need it? No, on a day hike? Probably not. But you never know. I mean, one of these times, maybe we'll get to a spot and we'll say, hey, let's have a nice long lunch and I'll whip this bad boy out and I'll set it up in a tree with the nice tree savers and we'll just sit there and talk and relax and enjoy the weather. That's some of the stuff I just keep in here on a, on a day hike. And yeah, like I said before about this pack, it's heavy. You know, there's more expensive ones out there that are uh, that are definitely way lighter, more catering towards the people that are actually out there doing hiking and stuff like that all the time, and that's all they want the pack for. But I wanted something that was a little more multi-purpose. Like I said, I throw this in the back of my Jeep. It's by my all my like towing straps and stuff like that, jumper cables. It gets beat up. But it's rugged, it's tough. I am not worried about this thing ripping. I am not worried about this thing getting destroyed. It is super solid. It also comes with the price of, you lose a lightweight. Um, it, it, it's, a, it's much heavier than a lot of your day packs. You really don't need anything that fantastic to start out. I mean, so we first used a backpack that I used to use for school. Because as long as it holds, some of the bare essentials that you want to bring with you. So we're never planning on bad things to happen. We're never planning on losing track of where we are, getting turned around, and then spending an extra five days out there. Unless you're having a really tough time at work and you just want to like take that extra vacation and have a really good excuse. Which I don't know if that would even work, but I might try that. Just kidding. Anyways, um, so yeah, so that's just like a quick run through of what my backpack is. I rambled a little more than I wanted to. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them below. I would like to know what you guys think or if you have other ideas of things I should bring or if you think there's something that I missed because I most definitely might have missed something that I usually bring with me. Um, let me know uh, in the comments below. I will definitely check them out. So you don't need all the expensive gear right out of the gate. Get out there, find a place that you want to explore, and just get out there and do it. I mean, check it out. It's worth it. I guarantee it's worth it. Um, you'll have a t you'll have you'll have the time of your life, and you'll have the stuff that you need with you in case you do encounter some difficult times or some issues. Like I said, thanks again for watching. Subscribe below, hit the like button, and we will talk to you.